Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross Gacha video with me. So today is finally the day I pulled the seven star gachas. And it's actually the first day of me seven star gacha itself. Uh, at this point in time, I'm recording. But you probably guys, uh, you guys probably won't see this video until later date because uh, technically I am recording this video sick. Uh, that's why you can hear my voice is exactly at its full health. Um, so I had to do it today because I was doing a test on it and I guess today is finally the time to try and prove it I guess. So um, so what is this test all about? I've been posting on my Facebook page um, regarding it um, and uh, rather a, a test to, to see if it works. So, I've been having bad luck on my pools, on my free daily pools. Um, you know those template gacha pools that they that Dana has been giving out for free because of the third anniversary of Usama Cross. Um, I'm sure you guys have experienced it yourself. Where some days you have fantastic pools, some days you have horrendous pools where you know just all silver boxes and nothing else. So today, the luck changed a bit and. I stopped getting horrendous pulls, or rather, I did get a miraculous pull for today. Um, I will show a clip right here on what I actually got. A sample, just a sample clip. The the, the rest of the pool will be ending up in the compilation video later on. So, um, so I'm testing my luck um, today because my luck for today's gacha pulls have been pretty much miraculous. Even my regular free daily pools, the single episode pick pools, have been showing Valkyrie animations, so the luck today seems to be pretty good. So let's take a look at both episode plates um, for Freya and Min Mei, both 7 stars for the month of August. Um, we're going to compare the both of them and I'm going to tell you guys which one you should consider pulling the most, uh, you know considering that there are two 7 star episode plates available and Freya's is actually um, well, technically her second 7 star episode plate. Okay, so both costumes for both Min Mei and Freya are both the key art 2 versions of um, Crossover Live 2019. If you guys are familiar with the Macross franchise, you knew that last year they had a concert with all the Macross generations from SDF Macross up to Macross Delta, which is fantastic. So, alright, let's take a look at Freya's episode plate first because her, hers appeared first. So, 4338 total score. Alright, well balanced, that's all around as usual. Then pay attention to who else can use her episode plate because, well, now that we've got the um, Utahi main event, uh, surprisingly for the month of August, we won't be having that event. We're going back to the uh, versus high score event. So, I think they're going to rotate events each month, which is pretty fantastic because the Utahime event is really a burn on stamina. So, okay, um, as usual, if you use the 7 star episode plate on uh, the featured series of the Diva, you know, you get a double S uh, center skill. So, yeah. And the active skill, of course, if it's in the 7 star form, you get to activate it twice. Life skill for this plate, uh, it's always different for all 7 star, the life skill is always definitely different. Um, at the start of 25 second mark, for 10 seconds you get a score boost of 20% up, so Freya's plate does have a bit of a high score assistance. Kind of, 20% uh, is not the best, but you know, it's a 7 star plate with stats like that, it's pretty okay. <laughs> so, as usual. 7 star plates uh, don't really come with special notes, but because this is Freya's second round, who knows? So, uh, yeah, it doesn't come with anything attached to it, so that's kind of a bummer. You know, Dana has not broken the, uh, rather the pattern of 7 stars just yet, maybe because, well, we are still short of one character and their 7 star episode plate is Basara. So all the ladies have finally gotten their 7 star episode plate including Min Mei. So yes, the only guy in the whole franchise is still left out. <laughs> okay, so um, Basara, I don't know, Basara, Min Mei's episode plate, let's take a look at it. Um, 4342, wow, 
actually higher stats than Freya's. Okay, uh, well balanced stats all around, and of course, pay attention to who else can use it. Surprisingly, Freya, you know, I think Min Mei was able to use Freya split as well. Oh no, so very selfish month. <laughs> Freya is the key star because she can use both seven stars. Alright, and as usual, you know, like I mentioned, pay attention to the series that the diva belongs to if you want that unique double S center skill. And active skill, same thing as Freya's, like any other 7 star out there. And of course, Min Mei's one, well, it differs, well, but rather it's actually the same. <laughs> so 10 seconds, 20% up. And of course, no special note attached to them. So now, if you're wondering uh, which one should you pull, well, if you're a Freya fan, of course, pull your waifu's gacha. And of course, if you've already obtained her previous 7 star episode plate, you know, adding this one to your collection is of course the gory gory way. Yeah, but if you're just a usual casual fan of Uta Macross and you don't stand any waifus, so you just collect them all, which one should you really pull? Well, technically, Min Maze. Uh, if you already obtained Freya's first 7 star uh, episode plate, like I do, I've got so many copies of it, I can't say enough how many times I pulled it out. Um, but yeah, if you've already obtained Freya's previous 7 star episode plate, attaining this one basically just means an additional costume for yourself. Um, you know, after all, a 7 star is a 7 star unless you're talking about you know the stats and the total or overall power that each of the 7 stars provide. Uh, so yeah, I mean, costumes wise, both costumes are technically the same because all 7 star costumes just give you that total 10% boost in score. So, I mean, your total scoring on your episode plates. So, um, costume wise, either one is fine. As long as you have one um, for Freya, it's okay. Uh, episode power wise, this one might be actually more powerful than the old 7 star, you know, by a few points. Uh, but overall, it's still pretty much the same. Um, uh, life skill wise, maybe they're different, but you know, but if in terms of, you know, clearing out the completion factor, getting Min Mei's episode plate is definitely more important because this is Min Mei's first 7 star episode plate. So if you're wondering which gacha to toss your singing stones to, definitely Min Mei is the way to go. Alright, so with that said, I do have Freya 7 star episode plate, um, or rather the old one already. So I won't really fully invest into trying to get Freya's um, brand new 7 star. I will however make use of the discounted template pool and then of course if I don't get it then of course I'll move on. Um, it's okay to gain Freya's brand new 7 star plate later on. You know the Kiawawa doll um, for the decor room isn't exactly very important. The costume itself isn't exactly very important as well but you know having both 7 star or 6 star form um, for this month is pretty crucial when it comes to ranking in events that kind of stuff so yes let's give this a try i'm just gonna do a template pool for freya then we'll move on to min Mei. so we do get some loading there hopefully the, the the test of you know relying on today's luck will prove positive so we do get an average valkyrie animation Right, no red box on the first blink. We get a rainbow, so there is a chance that it might evolve. Who knows? So as long as the red boxes don't evolve, maybe there's a chance the rainbow box might evolve. Alright, moving along. All common stuff, not that important. So the second red box doesn't evolve as well. Lots of the Halloween plates are appearing again in the last few weeks. I guess it's just a reminder. Oh, we do get a lag animation, so nope, no evolution on the rainbow box. It's kind of a bummer, but you know, a 5 star is a 5 star. Although it's a pretty old plate. Alright, and the last red box, so no evolution here, but we can tell, um, considering that 
my test is to test that each day has its own luck. So if you're having bad luck on a particular day, avoid doing gacha pulls that are featured ones. Um, maybe wait to another day that you have a better luck. So as you can tell, my luck is pretty okay here. I do get a five star episode plate, you know, but it didn't evolve to a rainbow one. That's fine. So let's move on to Min Mei's gacha because Min Mei's episode plate is definitely one that I want to obtain. Uh, make sure you cover all divas with yeah seven star form possible. You know, so let's do this. Alright, some decent loads once again. The luck is still retaining. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> so, ooh, we get a surprise rainbow or rather gold orb. Yay! So we do get our rainbow box, hopefully it evolves. But we still might end up with a old 7 star or 6 star, depending. Alright, the red box didn't evolve. Milling seems contented. Alright, here we go. No evolution on the rainbow box. That's kind of a bummer. But that's okay. We still get a 5 star plate. Alright. So you can, you can tell the, the concept or the theory is uh, working quite a bit. Um, the luck for today is pretty decent. Alright. Okay, let's move along. I'm, I'm not going to reset the pick, or rather we have to reset because the first pool is always discounted, but eventually, here on out, it's not discounted, so if I have to, I'll continue pulling. But I probably might not step out of the gacha page just to see whether, you know, it's all based on the day's luck itself. Alright, there we go. Alright, so one Valkyrie, not very good. Oops, I accidentally cancelled the animation, but that's okay. We don't know how many red boxes we have. We have one. Alright, that plate is definitely getting lots of its uh, secret bots unlocked. Oh, we do get a rainbow box. Alright, another old plate. That's okay. It means more costume points. And of course, that leads up to an episode of No evolution on the second red box. I wonder how many boxes are red we got. Hmm. Oh, we got three. Oh, so, hey, at least evolve. An old plate evolves, that's not too bad. Even though we didn't get that seven star or, you know, six star. Alright, we're gonna do a second one. There we go. Oh, we get some loading there. Alright, some decent... Oh, we get a 5 Valkyrie animation sequence. Oh, a red rainbow box off the bat. Wow, and 4 red boxes. Very nice. So as you can see, the theory is working pretty well. So... Yeah, so if you don't have the template free pools to try out this theory, you can base it off your single daily pools. Um, if you do get Valkyrie animations for your free daily pools, uh, it shows that your luck might be pretty good today. So that's probably when you can decide. Oh, it evolves! Yay! Is it Min May? It's Ranka! <laughs> I'm okay. Um, if you guys didn't know, I already have Ranka 7 star. Um, yes, the plate evolved um, in one of my other you know, free daily pools. So that would be a nice thing to catch if, you, if once I put up my compilation video. So yeah. Alright, so we do get a 6 star episode plate. So my theory is somewhat correct. Um, I just have to wait for a pretty good... Um, gacha pool day I suppose and then of course do your featured gacha pools so I'm gonna go for my last template pool for Min Mei uh, definitely want to try to obtain Min Mei's 6 star at least alright here we go 
So yeah, staying in the gacha is also another thing. Uh, like last time, I always emphasize on exiting the page to refresh the luck. But actually, the luck really depends on each day itself. So yeah, we got a rainbow box again. All right, here we go. So free to play players, you can try this theory out. If it works for you, let me know in the comments down below. All right, no evolution on this blade. Uh, it's a mini episode blade, but not her. Six star, so that's okay. So I guess I'm gonna have to work very hard since I didn't attain any of the um, featured main seven star plates this time round. It's kind of a bummer. I mean, there is the discounted stone packages right now. Um, so yeah. Oh, we evolved. Nice. I would say this time round the. Gacha video has been very fruitful. We do get a 6 star plate for Ranka, and of course, we get 2 episode plates that are pretty old to evolve, so that's pretty nice as well. Okay, so um, before I go off, uh, I'm sure most of you have seen me update the Facebook page regarding the brand new um, discounted stone packs. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let's head to the stone store right now. Um, just take a look at it roughly. So we have 27 days more before this sale disappears. Um, I don't know whether they'll be having a second round of sales for this one because the duration for this sale is pretty long. So there might not be one. Um, yeah, so the pack actually gives um, a pretty nice set of items. Um, aside from your singing stones, they, they also have like um, that special summer ticket that you actually need right now so if you guys didn't read or didn't update yourself from my Facebook page um, this is what the um, summer ticket and the brand new Nyan Kuji main item um, which is the third anniversary Uta Macross special medal so you can tell the medal lets you exchange for old event episode plates that have appeared in Nyan Kuji boxes before so if you guys have not um, fully evolved them as you can tell I've already fully evolved all of my event exclusive episode plates because yes I pay to play technically but I'm not a whaler so I did obtain all the anniversary uh, or rather exclusive uh, episode plates for anniversary events or birthdays or whatever events there are um, so yeah um, in, for free to play players this is a chance to maybe evolve or at least attain one of the old anniversary episode plates um, as you can tell there's a whole bunch of them so this is your chance to do so especially if you don't want to make use of your rare up stars to fully power them up um, but why is this important right now like I said in my tutorial video for the Utahime event um, it is important to have all these episode plates that can be used by every single diva out there uh, even though technically some of the plates are pretty old and your total power score is not fantastic but the skills and the versatility of the episode plate is technically the key point of this episode plate itself um, so yeah definitely you might want to focus more on the newer ones maybe not this one because it's terribly old as well um, I guess the best one you can probably get right now is this this one <laughs> um, second anniversary uh, let me see what else is there yeah and this one yeah I, I guess there's only two out of the whole bunch that's rather useful <laughs> technically in terms of strength and versatility so yeah Okay, um, then of course we have the summer tickets. The summer tickets uh, technically just give you episode uh, plates that come with costume points only. Um, of course, they are higher rarities, so just like the same ones that you gain from the ticketing event nowadays. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are new players, definitely you want to try and attain these costumes. If you've not unlocked them before, for us old players out there, we probably already unlocked all of them technically you should have <laughs> um, if not 
I think you might want to try and focus on costumes that you have yet to fully unlock. They are basically all the old swimsuit costumes from last year's um, summer event. So yeah, there is the rare up star you can switch for as well, but you know, 100, 100 tickets is equivalent to one of these 5 star episode plates. So yeah. And if not, Secret Stones are fantastic as well if you want to Kirafi your episode plates, you know, that kind of stuff. Then of course, if you've got leftover tickets, maybe you can consider the shards and fragments for the Rare Star. And of course, the Secret Stone shards as well. And of course, the large episode orb, which is always important if you want to unlock costumes as well. Um, you know, just in case you don't have enough tickets for, you know, the episode plates or the Rare Star. Yeah, 100 tickets are pretty expensive unless you're a whaler of course you purchase all the singing stone discounted packs that give the tickets so yeah you've got a bunch of tickets and you can toss them around however you want but anyway guys that's about it thank you guys so much for joining me on another um Uta Macross gacha video i apologize for my slow pacedness as i said earlier in the video i'm, I'm not actually feeling very well I had no choice to make this video today because the luck for today's gacha was pretty good. It's just not my day, I guess. <laughs> so as usual guys, thank you guys for watching all the way. If you guys did, you guys are awesome. Do let me know your thoughts on all the brand new stuff that's coming for uh, Uta Macross 3rd anniversary. I think we are one day away now. Tomorrow should be the anniversary day uh, at this point of time I am recording this video. Um, I think it's the 3rd of August that's the main event uh, of the anniversary then um, let me see what else is in my mind my mind's kind of drawing a blank right now uh, oh yeah and subscribe <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel you know and of course let me know how you guys what do you guys think about the theory of the the overall gacha luck day thing and yeah, if you guys tested it yourself, let me know in the comments as well. How did it turn out for you? Did it prove to be right? That kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, share this video to anyone out there who's interested in this theory to test it out for themselves as well. And I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross Gacha video uh, slash uh, theory. <laughs> Until then, I'm going to lay on my bed. This is just proving a bit difficult right now. Bye.